Are you still keeping track of your family schedule with a giant dry erase whiteboard? I'm gonna show you a better way to handle it in this video. Welcome to Family Tech, where I help you be the tech expert of your home. Today we're talking all about the Cozy La digital calendar. And it's way more than just a digital calendar, and it is going to transform your family and make sure everybody is on the same page. So first of all, what is the Cozy Law digital calendar? This video is sponsored by Cozy Law. Thank you to Cozy Law for supporting this channel. The Cozy Law Calendar Plus will help you keep all of your family's schedule, to-dos, even your shopping list, all in one really easy to find place. Now on the surface, it looks kind of like a giant tablet. And that is basically what it is. But the real advantage to this is that it has access to the entire Google Play library. And so as you have tools on your phone that help keep your day organized, you can incorporate that into the Calendar Plus and have everybody in your family be on the same page. So let's take a look first how we install this Cozy Law calendar and walk you through some of the best features. First, inside the box is going to give you all the tools necessary in order to mount this on your wall. You can also get a version that is standalone that you don't have to mount on your wall. I was preferring this as it's the closest thing to what I've already got in place. Or if you have one of those whiteboard calendars, it's going to feel very similar, except for this is going to be much more interactive and give you so much better information. So in the box first is going to be this really helpful template. So you just need to tape this template up to wherever you want it to be. Not only is it going to help you figure out if it's going to fit in this space, but it's going to give you a really easy to find place to put in the different screws and mounting hardware that you need to place so that you can put this on your wall. So once the template is up, then you go ahead and use a drill to drill in the holes exactly where it shows you to drill them on the paper. Super easy to figure out. I was able to do this in less than 30 minutes altogether. So I drill my holes and then I'm gonna hammer in the hardware that is going to help it stay in place on the wall, especially if you're not going to put this in a stud. Once these are hammered in place, we can go ahead and put the mounting hardware. I like to make sure everything is super level, although after I did get it installed, it is easy to tilt around, so I didn't have to spend this much time making sure everything was level, but I'm an exact kind of girl, so I definitely use the level, but you actually don't need to put this much effort into making sure it is completely level. So you put in the screws and then you mount this hardware. Then you're gonna go ahead and put the other side, screw that into the back side of the Cozy Law um, and just make sure whichever orientation you're going to put it, whether you're gonna put it in landscape mode or how I have it here in the portrait mode setting. Make sure you're putting the mount in the right location so for that orientation. Um, and you can kind of see that it's angled a little bit so you know exactly which side um, should be where. Once you've got the hardware mounted on the wall and onto the back of the Cozy Law, then you go ahead and lift it up and slide it onto the mounting hardware. And that's all there is to it. Make sure you plug that in and it will boot right up. It's gonna take you through some standard setup instructions. Just go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi and make sure everything is good to go on that. Sign into your Google account because we're going to talk about how important it is to link this up to your Google account so that you can take full advantage of all of the really awesome tools Google has given you to organize your family's life. All right, now that we're all set up, we can create whatever widgets we want to install on this home screen. So the first thing I want to install obviously is our calendar. So we're gonna go ahead and sync up our Google Calendar. It's really already synced up. So I'm gonna hard press on the screen, open up the widgets and add the calendar widget to the screen. Now I can adjust the size to this calendar widget if I want it to take up the entire screen. Uh, I can do that or I can make it a little smaller so that we can fit other widgets on this screen as well. 
So let's talk a little bit more about Google Calendar for your family's use. I have a whole video about how to use Google Calendar to best get your family organized. So the best advice I've got for you is to make sure each family member has their own Google account and is tied to the parent's Google account. So that way all of the calendars are synced up together, but especially as you have teenagers or older kids, then they have their own Google calendars on their device devices and they can add appointments or if they've got practice after school, if they've got something that, you know, they've got a band a concert, they can add those to their Google calendars and it will automatically show up here in your family Google calendar. And since they don't really need to know what my schedule is, most of the time they don't have my schedule on their phone. They've just shared their calendar with mine. So that the cozy loss, since it's connected to my account, will see all of those Google calendars, but your child really only needs to focus on what their calendar shows. So it's not going to be cluttered up with the entire family. But the great thing about having this in the kitchen is they can come home, see what's on the calendar for the rest of the family. It's not gonna be cluttering up their phone, but they can get an overview of where everybody is. So they come home from school and nobody's home. They look at the calendar. Oh, I see where everybody is. However, if your kids are a little bit younger, you might want to just create additional calendars on your own Google account, especially if they don't have their own Google account or if they have a Google account, but it is tied to a family family link account, they might not be able to have that calendar or share that calendar. So if you do have younger kids, you may just create additional calendars. Um, and again, my Google Calendar video talks about all sorts of other Google Calendars that you can add. You can put your bills in, you can put, um, I've put a workout schedule, I've put a meal plan before. There's a lot that you can add to Google Calendar, so make sure you check out that video too. The next thing I've got added here is Google Tasks. So you can create multiple lists in the tasks of your Google account. Now the benefit to this is that I can create a list for the family and put that on here or different chores that need to be done and I can add them from my phone and they would show up here automatically. Now if I'm going to do that, um, it's best to have this task list as a separate task list than like my own personal tasks. The unfortunate thing right now with Google Tasks is that you can't share lists with other individuals. So if my son was at school and needs to add some something to the task list that is going to show up on the cozy law, then he's not able to do that from his phone. But what I can do from my phone is I can add tasks for the whole family and put those on the lists here. Now with these Google tasks, I can set up a recurring task. So if I need somebody to take the trash down to the curb every Tuesday, I can add that to this family task list and every Tuesday that is going to show up on the task list. So that recurring appointment will show up automatically. I don't have to keep reminding people every Tuesday to go take the trash to the curb. They'll see it on this task list and they'll be able to check that off as they go. So now you can't share task lists with anybody, but you can share Google Keep notes. And that is where we keep our shopping list. Now, the cool thing about the Google shopping list is if you have other Google home devices in your house, you can shout out to Google that you want to add such and such to the shopping list. And it's going to appear on this Google keep note that's called shopping list automatically. So as you are in the kitchen and you are using an ingredient for a recipe, you can shout out to the Google Assistant and say, Google, add this to my shopping list. And then it will sh add it to your shopping list. It's gonna show up here on the Cozy Law. So then even if somebody is wanting to add it manually, they can go over to the Cozy Law and open up the the Google Keep note and add something directly to the shopping list there. Now, when I get to the store, I can see the things that are already added to the shopping list and I can go ahead and check those off. And this allows me, even if I left for the day and then something else got added to the shopping list while I was gone, I will see that as I'm at the store so that I can go ahead and pick up that item instead of coming home and see that something else has been added to the shopping list. Now, since this is more like an Android tablet, I can also add a weather widget or I can look at traffic updates directly from the device. Uh, I can also add any apps that I really want to see some 
information from. For example, if there are some news feeds that I frequent, I can add those widgets to this Calendar Plus and see the latest news uh, as I'm getting ready for the day or as I'm winding down at night. And since this does live in my kitchen, I can load up my recipe storage platform, which I use Paprika. Um, I should do a whole video on this application, but it is a great place to store all of your recipes. I can pull up a recipe, I can do my meal planning directly from the Calendar Plus, or what I can do is just see the calendar for my meal plan. There's a meal planner app that comes directly with the Calendar Plus. Um, it is a little basic. I did wish I could just change some of the things. I don't want to see breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. I would like to just see all the dinners for the week. And that wasn't something I was really able to do with the widget for this application. But I do have my standard recipe storage application on here. So I can just pull that up and pull up the recipes or even the meal plan for the week. Um, or you can store that meal plan information into a Google Calendar and and people could, as they're looking at the Google Calendar, can just see what meal is planned for that day, um, specifically dinner, because most of the time we're gonna just have like cereal or make our own breakfast. They're gonna have lunch at school or at work. And then dinner is when we all come together to have that meal. So one of the great things with having this calendar here, I know we all have the calendar on our phone. We can look at it at any time, but this really helps the family all get on the same page. And I really like that aspect of it. Like I said, with the kids, they only see their calendar. This one gives them a more broad view or they're the kind of kids who aren't really looking or paying attention to their calendar on their phone, they can see this in the kitchen and know exactly what's going on. So those are some of my favorite features of this Cozy Law. Like I said, it's a giant tablet. If you want to load up YouTube on it and watch a video as you're making dinner or anything like that, you absolutely have the ability to do that. Basically anything that you can use to help you get organized on your phone, you can use a big version of it right here. You can change the settings so that it goes into dark mode automatically at night I do have that set um, you just use the bedtime mode which is a standard Android setting and then it can go turn dark automatically at like 9 10 p.m. go back to regular mode at 6 a.m. as the family's getting up and ready for the day thank you so much to Cozy Law for sponsoring this video I'm definitely picky with the sponsors I will approve for my content so uh, I was able to check this out use it and I do really like it. Um, I think it's a great tool to help your family get organized. So go ahead and check that out. If you do want to purchase, go ahead and use my code listed in the description below. And again, thank you to Kozala for sponsoring Family Tech and helping me bring you awesome technology and help you be the tech expert of your home. We'll see you next time.